Hey guys, welcome back. My name's Aaron. This is Zara Finance, episode 28, car insurance, or I should say auto insurance, because I did car insurance on in an earlier episode, which is on episode 11, if you haven't caught that already. It's going to be pretty much the same thing with a little bit of added details, but again, this is on auto insurance. So when it comes to auto insurance, uh, one of the most common types of things to get for people is liability insurance. And what liability insurance does is basically makes you, hold you liable for somebody else uh, hitting you. So or actually makes you liable for for you hitting somebody else so you're again you're coming down a hill you come into an accident with somebody you cause the damage to somebody else you are held liable for that so you are held your insurance provider will provide the damages to cover up to a certain amount for their for the damages that you may have caused whether it's a ten thousand uh, dollars fifty thousand dollar damage a hundred thousand dollar damage whatever it may be up to a certain amount most likely it's around 150 to 200 thousand dollars depending on what type of insurance car insurance you've selected um, and the premiums that you want to pay for your car insurance now so that's liable you are held liable you have that which is the most common when you drive you have to have insurance um, so you're held liable so if something were to happen you can pay for the damages for somebody's vehicle up to a certain amount of money. Okay, the next thing that they have here is uh, collision coverage. Covers the damages for vehicles in a traffic collision. So you can have insurance for your vehicle that you're driving, whether it's a motorcycle, uh, an RV, a bus, a you know um, a tractor, whatever it may be. You're having coverage for the vehicle that you are driving. So if you crash it, well, that too now can get covered. Okay, the next thing that you have here is comprehensive coverage. Comprehensive coverage basically means weather damage, whether you got hit by a deer, whether it was stolen, whether it was an act of God, things of those type of nature is comprehensive coverage. So it wasn't your fault. A tree limb breaks, falls in your car, crushes it, well, you got it covered up to a certain amount. Remember, whatever you decide to put on there, is it $10,000, is it $50,000, is it the value of the car that you want to insure it? If it's a highly expensive car, you probably want to have $150,000 or more. If it's not that important to you, well, maybe you want to put $10,000 on the car for the coverage just in case something happens, right? All right, the next thing is personal injury protection is PIP. And it's basically medical coverage for you and your passenger or whoever is driving in your car. It's personal protective insurance. So you're driving, you get into an accident, the insurance will cover medical expenses for yourself and a passenger up to a certain amount. All right, so um, the next one is if you are in an accident with somebody who's uninsured, uh, an uninsured motorist who doesn't have any, any insurance for bodily injury protection and or property damage. Whether does your insurance cover their damages of their car um, if they're underinsured and or any um, medical expenses that they may incur if they get injured in an accident that you cause, will your insurance pay for them up to a certain amount? Most likely these things do happen, so um, you know be aware of that. Um, Again, how do they know? How do they, how do they rate you? Uh, when you get auto insurance, they're going to pull your credit score. Um, you know, you want to make sure it's high if you can, or if be better yet, have no credit score. Zero is best. Um, they're going to look at whether your good driving records. Have you gotten any tickets? Are you? Have, do you have any DUIs? Um, have you been paying your? You know, if you're leasing a vehicle, which you shouldn't be, but if you are, have you been making consecutive payments? Have you, um, are you a high risk driver? Are you driving on race cars all the time? Or maybe you're driving um, a motorcycle that is bright red. You know, colors do matter. You know, these things might cause you to have a higher risk tolerance. So the insurance that you might select might be higher. So just something to think about with that. Um, gender bias, are you a male or you're a female? Um, whether you're married or not. Sometimes uh, insurance providers of auto insurance can offer discounts when you're married because not only they can go after you, but they can go after your spouse as well. So something to think about if you're married um, or have a significant other in your life. Um, occupation, whether you're, you know, again, they can find out what kind of occupation you are. Are you a high risk driver? Are you traveling to and from work that's really far distances? Maybe you're a truck driver um, and you're driving long, you know, across the country. Maybe, you know, you can have different types of insurance with those type of things. So these are the type of things uh, car insurance covers. Um, there's lots of different companies that are out there. Um, shop around, get the best coverage that you can for the cheapest price. Keep in mind, if you do get into an accident of that sort, of some nature, does your premiums go through the roof? Meaning, does your payment that you used to pay maybe $100 or $600 uh, every six months, does that go now to $1,200 because you got into a little fender bender that you call the claim? Um, other things to think about with insurance, auto insurance, is does it cover glass coverage? If your glass breaks in the front, back, side, or whatever, you lock your keys in your car, 
does the insurance cover that? Because sometimes when you get into an accident, sometimes your windshield breaks and that might not be covered and you're going to be really sad that you have to pay out of pocket for a brand new windshield that costs $800 and you might not have the coverage for it. So things to look into, shop around, keep the prices low. Um, I'm sorry for the shakiness. My arm is, is uh, getting tired holding the, the phone out. Um, so this is basic auto insurance. I highly recommend anybody getting this whenever you're driving or operating a vehicle um, that your body has to drive in or move around in. So um, get auto insurance if you're driving or operating a vehicle. And again, keep the premiums low. All the best to you guys. Thanks for watching. My name's Aaron. This is Our Finance, episode 28, auto insurance. And thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Bye.